How can you exclude God from your conscience? People say, I don't believe in God. I ain't going to believe in God that tells me I can't do this or I can't do that. Or I ain't going to believe in God that sends people to hell. What are you talking about? We're talking about the God of all eternity. We're talking about the God who created everything that you are and everything that you know. All around us, we see his beautiful creation when we just look around. How, how can we say there is no God? What in the world are we thinking to say there's no God? What? I mean, this world is so complex. Everything about it has the fingerprints of God all over it. And why Why would you say, I'm not going to believe in him, as though you're going to rebel against God, the Almighty, the one who has, has given you everything you've got, and you're going to rebel against him? What do you think? How's that going to work for you when the Bible says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? Come on, man. What are you thinking? Man, we serve a God. We live for a God. We are created by a God who loves us so much that he gave his son, Jesus Christ, to take the penalty for our sins. Why would we reject him? Why would we exclude him? Oh, no, y'all. Turn back. Rethink. Give your life to Jesus Christ and give it to him right now.